Imagine losing your teeth, not just one or two, but all of them. Eating would feel like trying to chew steak with rubber. Speaking would sound like mumbling through a mouthful of marbles. Smiling? You might forget what that even looks like. Yet for centuries, people have found ingenious ways to bring back the simple act of chewing, talking, and grinning with confidence. From carved wooden teeth to space-age polymers, dentures have come a long way from their eerie beginnings. But what exactly goes into making a set of artificial teeth so real they can fool the human eye and function like the real thing? Today, we're sinking our teeth into the fascinating world of dentures, how it's made, right here on History of Simple Things. Long before modern dentistry, tooth loss was a grim reminder of age and poor hygiene. Archaeologists have discovered ancient dentures dating back thousands of years, crafted from animal bones, ivory, and even seashells tied together with gold wire. The ancient Etruscans of Italy were among the first to experiment with dental replacements, using human and animal teeth from the deceased. Yes, people once recycled teeth from the dead. It sounds macabre, but it worked. Kind of. By the 18th century, dentures became more refined, though still not very comfortable. The most infamous version, George Washington's so-called wooden teeth. Despite popular myth they weren't made of wood at all, his dentures combined ivory, gold, and actual human teeth held together with metal springs. When he smiled, it was more engineering marvel than natural grin. Fast forward to the late 19th century, when vulcanized rubber revolutionized dentistry. For the first time, dentures could fit snugly inside a person's mouth without slipping or squeaking. The base was tough yet flexible, and artificial teeth were carefully attached to mimic the bite and curvature of natural gums. Later, acrylic resins took over in the 20th century, offering a smoother, more lifelike appearance. Suddenly, dentures weren't just functional, they were beautiful. People could smile without fear of revealing a mouthful of mismatched ivory or bone. But to appreciate how dentures are made today, we need to step inside the precise patient world of the dental laboratory. The journey of a denture begins not in a factory, but in a dentist's chair. The process starts with a mold, an impression taken of the patient's gums using a soft, squishy material that hardens into a perfect negative of their mouth. This impression captures every ridge, curve, and contour where teeth once stood. Once set, the impression is filled with plaster or dental stone to form a positive model, essentially a 3D map of the patient's mouth. This model becomes the foundation for everything that follows. Every bite, every smile, every chew depends on the accuracy of that mold. Next comes what's known as the wax try-in. A technician builds a temporary version of the dentures using pink wax for the gums and pre-made acrylic teeth. This stage allows the dentist and patient to test the look and feel before the final version is made. Think of it as a dress rehearsal for your smile. The patient can see how their new teeth will look, and adjustments can be made. Alignment, size, even how the lips rest against them. Too bulky, too flat, every millimeter matters. Once approved, the wax model goes back to the lab where the real magic begins. In the lab, the wax model is placed inside a two-part metal mold called a flask. It's then filled with plaster to encase the wax completely. When the plaster hardens, the entire assembly is heated, melting away the wax and leaving behind an empty space shaped exactly like the denture. This is called the lost wax method, a technique borrowed from metal casting that allows for remarkable precision. 
What remains is a perfect cavity waiting to be filled with the material that will become the final denture base. Now it's time for the star material, acrylic resin. This pink gum-colored liquid is poured into the mold and carefully pressed under heat and pressure. The heat causes the resin to polymerize, transforming from a soft dough into a hard, durable base. Once cooled, the flask is opened, and out comes the newly formed denture, complete with its embedded artificial teeth. But at this stage, it looks rough and unfinished, more like a mouth guard than a polished smile. That's where craftsmanship takes over from chemistry. The denture is trimmed, smoothed, and polished by hand using a series of rotary tools. Every ridge and curve is sculpted to resemble the natural contours of gum tissue. The goal? To make it indistinguishable from real flesh and bone. The technician checks the bite alignment, ensuring the upper and lower teeth meet perfectly when the mouth closes. Finally, the surface is polished to a mirror-like finish. The result is stunning, a seamless blend of art and anatomy, a handcrafted prosthetic that restores not just a person's ability to chew, but their confidence to smile again. Back at the clinic, the patient tries on their new dentures. The dentist checks for comfort, stability, and alignment. Minor adjustments are made to prevent sore spots or pressure points. When done right, the fit is so natural that the wearer can speak, eat, and laugh without fear of slipping. It's more than just a replacement for lost teeth. It's a restoration of normal life. For many, that first confident bite or carefree grin after years of embarrassment is nothing short of transformative. Today, Digital dentistry is reshaping the process. 3D scanning replaces messy molds, and 3D printers can produce perfectly fitted dentures in hours instead of weeks. Advanced materials like flexible nylon and high-impact resins make them lighter and more durable than ever before. And as dental implants become more accessible, hybrid dentures anchored directly into the jaw are redefining what a false tooth can be. Every denture tells a story, not just of craftsmanship and technology, but of dignity restored. Behind each set lies hours of careful artistry, precision, and human empathy. What started as a desperate attempt to replace lost teeth has become a symbol of resilience and reinvention. The next time you see a perfect smile, remember, it might not be natural, but it's certainly made with care, science, and a touch of art. Because in the end, what's more human than the ability to smile again? Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.